guys, and welcome to Escape Wheel Watch Reviews. My name is Steve, and today we're looking at the Octopus Kraken OCT-005, and this is an homage to the Oris Big Crown Pointer Date. Uh, as you can see, this doesn't have a pointer date, but uh, everything else is pretty much spot on to the Oris. I, I think it looks really, really good. So Octopus Kraken has been around for a little while, but just recently started showing up on AliExpress. They also seem to be related to Baltany, uh, but they have some really nice looking pieces in their collection. So they're definitely worth checking out and something that you should be uh, keeping an eye on, even if you aren't interested in this particular model. Uh, this watch was sent to the channel by the Octopus Kraken store on AliExpress, so a huge thank you goes out to them. I know you guys appreciate it. I know I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, show them some love because uh, they've got some really, really awesome pieces. Retail price for this watch is $276, but I've seen the price drop down to like $250. Uh, and that's before taxes, and that is also before any other coupons. So you should be able to get it for a little bit less than 250 US dollars. This watch is offered in four different colorways. They have this green dial, they have kind of a dark red dial, they have a black dial, and a brown dial. And I think I think they all look really, really good. Uh, but anyway, $276. Uh, it seems like a lot of money for an AliExpress watch. I know that's kind of the limit to what people are willing to spend. Um, but I think you're getting a really, really good package with this. So you're getting a CUSN8 tin bronze case. You have a beautifully domed sapphire crystal. You have a nice leather strap. You have a screw down case back, which is absolutely beautiful. We'll talk about that in a second. 100 meters of water resistance and a high beat PT5000 movement inside. You have a screw down crown. And yeah, I think it's a great little package. So is this big crown pointer date worth your money? Let's dig in and find out. First things first, as usual, we'll talk about the dimensions on this. So this is listed as a 40 millimeter watch. I'm getting 39.8 millimeters in diameter, 12 millimeters thick, 20 millimeter lug width, and an overall lug tip to lug tip of 48.6 millimeters. So I think the size for me uh, is right in that sweet spot, 48, 47 millimeter lug tip to lug tip. Uh, it does look really good and I feel like it wears just a little bit smaller than the dimensions suggest. So um, I was expecting it to wear pretty big, uh, but it definitely doesn't. So uh, just keep that in mind. You do have really nice turn down to those lugs. It's a super thin case too. So I think that helps make it feel a little bit smaller. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks great. Uh, I'm gonna go outside right now and throw it on my wrist for you. And here we are on my seven and a half inch wrist. And as you can see, uh, those dimensions they just wear on me wear perfectly. I just love the size of this thing. Uh, nice and thin, got good curvature on the case here, so it hugs the wrist really nicely. And yeah, it just looks looks really, really good. Uh, I love the light play off of all the different surfaces here. Out in direct sunlight, as you can see here, still pretty legible. Um, those those dome crystals are hard to show on camera how they look in real life uh, i think it does look really good though still plenty legible no issues and yeah just just looks really really good i'm gonna go throw this on a couple straps though and we'll get back to the review here we are on a black leather strap kind of a vintage strap here not my favorite definitely would have gone with something a little different but uh, it does still look pretty good uh, i think with the bronze cases options are pretty limited as far as what straps you can go with that actually look good so um yeah I do think this one looks pretty good. I'm going to go throw it on one more strap and we'll get back to it. Here we are on a gray watch steward strap. So I think gray and this bronze always look pretty good together. And yeah, this, this strap is just incredibly comfortable. It really just hugs the wrist like that. And uh, yeah, I think it looks great on this watch. It's one of my favorite straps. I think next to the, uh, the stock one, this is my uh, number two. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. But I'm going to go inside and we'll get back to this review. So before we jump into the case finishing, I just want to mention uh, this has been on the wrist for three or four days now, and it's already starting to patina. So if you want to see this like fresh out of the box, make sure to check out my unboxing, which is on here up here. Uh, it's definitely a bit more shiny and a bit more clean, but I didn't want to dunk it in uh, lemon juice or anything like that just yet. So uh, yeah, so this is kind of what it's going to look like after a few days on your wrist. So uh, let's get real close and we can talk about the case finishing. So you have a vertical brushing on the tops of the lugs here. You have a nice horizontal brushing on the case sides, both case sides, as you can see there. And I think the case finishing, it's nicely done. Obviously, it's, it's looking a little dingy right now, but uh, fresh out of the box, it looked absolutely wonderful. I, I loved it. 
the crown on this. It is a signed crown, as you can see there. It's a polished. Um, kind of wish they would have done with a, a brushed end to it there, but uh, I don't think it looks bad. And uh, the polished crown goes nicely with this nice, beautiful coin edge polished bezel. And getting real, real close to that, you can see it is finished just excellent. Really, really nicely finished. And you can also see, which I'm just kind of noticing now, is that there's a a lip in between the coin edge and the glass that is uh, circular brushing. I didn't even notice that until right now. It's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, that, that coin edge bezel, it is really, really nice. And it does have kind of a sunken in look there. Uh, really interesting where it's kind of sitting down inside these lugs here. It uh, looks really, really good. And that's kind of how Oris did theirs. And they're just following suit with that. And I think it looks really, really cool. The case back on this, it is a stainless steel case back. You get just typical tools to get in there if you ever need to pop it off. Really nice and simple. It is carrying over the coin edge, which is nice to see. And then you have your typical spec sheet around the outside. Uh, sapphire crystal, 100 meters of water resistance, automatic, all that stuff. And the display case back itself, it is sapphire, which is kind of nice to see. Well, we've got this out. Might as well test the crystal for sapphire. Obviously, it is sapphire. So this is sapphire sandwich. Nice to see. The crystal is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, very nicely done. Double dome sapphire. You can see lots and lots of distortion at the edges there. Looks really, really good. Uh, very happy with the crystal. There's a little bit of blue AR, as you can see right there. Uh, but it's not like a distracting blue like you see on some of the steel dives. Overall, I am very happy with the crystal on this thing. It cuts down on reflections, and I mean, it just looks cool. Um, yeah, really happy with it. So getting real close, talking about the dial here. So like I mentioned, this is the green dial. It comes in red, black, and brown. Uh, this green is kind of a, I saw it mentioned as a chalkboard green, and that's a good way to kind of describe it. It's a very chalkboard green color. It does change ever so slightly, kind of from a dark chalkboard green to almost like a sage in some direct lighting. I'm not sure if it's coming across on camera, but it is a really nicely done dial. It's not gloss, it's a matte, matte dial. So uh, yeah, it does look really, really good. You have a printed railroad minute track around the outside. You kind of have these little wedges here at all the hour markers, except for a double wedge at the 12 o'clock. Uh, those little wedges are loomed. The inside numerals here are also loomed. Those are loomed with BGW9, so they glow blue. Uh, the Outside wedges here are C3 as well as the handset that is also C3 loomed. The handset itself, it's a beautiful set of cathedral hands. If anything, I think they're oversized uh, and that is not a negative at all. That second hand reaches all the way out past the minute track. The minute hand reaches pretty much right to the edge of the, the minute track. And then the hour hand I think is really nicely sized. Very happy with it. Uh, the loom, I'm going to pop up a loom shot right now. You can see the hands, they hold on pretty good. Uh, I think the camera is exaggerating the brightness of the BGW9. That does fade pretty quickly. Uh, the outside numerals, or the outside markers, they hang on okay. Uh, definitely the hands are the brightest, which is kind of what you want to see if you don't have really, really good loom. Uh, I'd say it's a solid like 6 out of 10 uh, as far as the loom goes. So let's talk about the movement in this thing. Uh, so like I mentioned earlier, it is a PT5000 movement. It's operated by the screw down three o'clock crown. Again, it is signed really nicely with that octopus logo on it. Lots and lots of grip here. This is a big crown homage. So just for fun, we will measure this crown. 7.3 millimeters on the calipers. So it is a nice big crown. It's not oversized. I don't think it looks silly or anything like that. Uh, nice and short this way. So it doesn't dig into the wrist or anything. I'm really happy with the crown on it and the crown action, I think is excellent. So this first position hand winds the movement. Second position is a ghost date position. You can hear it clicking around back there. And the third position you pull it out, it does hack the movement. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a PT5000. This is, if you're unaware, it's a clone of an ETA movement. It is 28,800 beats per hour. And uh, it's been, all of them have been super accurate for me. Uh, this one here, Last time I measured it was right out of the box. It was negative three seconds a day. Um, so yeah, really happy with the accuracy on it. Uh, the hand winding is a little bit different than an NH35. It's it's heavy, um, but it's not gritty or anything like that. And yeah, I've, I've got nothing to complain about with the PT5000, not yet at least. Um, I know some people have had some issues with them, but I this is my third or fourth one, and I've got no issues with any of them. So I can't uh, I can't say anything bad about them yet. 
So let's talk about the strap on this thing. So as you can see, really nice brown leather strap, pretty minimal. There's no stitching up here. Uh, you do have quick release bars, which is nice to see. Uh, nice and thick strap and kind of tapers down, gets really nice and thin at the holes here. Um, yeah, it's starting to wear in nicely. I've only worn it maybe like a day or maybe a day and a half on this leather strap. Uh, it's already starting to, to loosen up a little bit. You have one floating keeper, one stationary keeper. You got this really nice signed octopus crack and buckle. It is bronze as well, which matches the case. Uh, I've got nothing bad to say about the strap. It's one of the best straps I've had from an AliExpress watch. Um, yeah, pretty happy with it. And you can see my seven and a half inch wrist is kind of right in the middle. So you should be able to get this to fit your wrist pretty good. So there you go, guys. That's the Octopus Kraken OCT-005 Oris Big Crown Pointer Date Homage. Uh, I think it is absolutely beautiful. If you are interested in picking this up, I'm going to leave a link down to the Octopus Kraken store. Uh, get it, because, I mean, it is beautiful. I'm finding, I'm finding it hard to say anything negative about this watch. Um, it's just really nice. I, I, there's... I, yeah, I, I can't I can't say much negative about it. I think the loom is probably the weakest part of it. If you guys are interested in seeing some more pictures of this, check out my Instagram account down below. I'll definitely be posting some pictures of it. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, drop them down below. I like talking with you guys about these watches. Let me know what you think about this thing. I know it's kind of a, a an interesting design, kind of polarizing with the bronze case. Uh, if you're interested in a, a stainless steel case, um, you know, drop that comment down below. Maybe Octopus will uh, see these comments and start making this in stainless steel. I know, personally, I would buy one of these things in a heartbeat if it was in stainless steel. So, um, yeah, uh, drop, drop those comments down below, guys. I, I think that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.